Okay, so this is my fuel sender unit taken out of uh, this 2009 Mercedes Sprinter. Um, I want to fit one of these diesel heaters. Um, and the standard uh, fuel pump and swell pot in a Sprinter comes fitted with this extra fitting, which is actually for a Mercedes cab heater. Uh, and this is called a KL1 fitting. Uh, the fitting standard is blanked off. So what I've done is we've removed it from uh, the tank over here. Uh, and that just sits in. You have to uh, pop a few bolts off. I'll go over that a little bit later. Uh, and we've removed the um, the the sender and the, with the fuel pump and everything in it here. Uh, what you have to do is you have to fit this fuel line to the underside. Um, I've just used a bit, a bit of Nautilus Marine fuel line uh, and it has got these springs on it so it's pushed very to the bottom of the tank, it stops it from jogging around. So I just want to push it all the way to the bottom and make sure that your fuel line doesn't get dropped out on the bottom because it can seal itself. Uh, mine sits about half inch away from the bottom which I'm perfectly happy with. I don't want to go all the way to the bottom so it can drain all the fuel. Uh, the next thing you have to do is you have to drill this throat. Uh, it is sealed off this factory if you don't want to use it. Uh, and the way I did that, it's just a, a four mil drill. Uh, and I've used a piece of, again, the same fuel line as a depth gauge. Um, so all I want to do is put that over the top of the drill. Uh, and I want to have a look to see how deep I want it. And all that we want to really be doing is going about halfway down through the middle of the channel. So I've measured this, which fits perfectly to there. Uh, and there's a very little amount of plastic in there. When I've just done this, um, the, the small amount of plastic that came out see the swells that come out of the drill uh, and then just to test it all I've done is blown into the end of this Nautilus fuel line and I can feel air coming out these heaters use a very small amount of fuel so you haven't got to have a huge amount of uh, fuel restriction there um, that's fine the only very other thing you have to do is fit this to the outside point so usually they've got um, <coughs> Mercedes style clip-on uh, fittings which fit onto here uh, but we're just going to use one of these, slot it over this barbed end, uh, and that will feed your heater. Simple and easy, using all the factory pieces. Done. Okay, so this is what the final setup looks like. Um, the last six inches of rubber hose is attached to this fitting. Uh, and then it attaches to this clear hose, just with a couple of hose clips. It fits just nicely inside of there. Again, there's not very much pressure at all, so you haven't got to have a super tight fitting. Uh, and now just to put the fuel sender unit back into the tank. Okay, so that only took me 12 minutes of a lot of screwing about to get the cap on. It turns out there's a little notch inside of it, which uh, you have to line up. So now we can see the tank's in place. With the outlet there. Let's see if I can turn the old ISO up a bit. And yeah, so it's got to fit the other two fittings, which are for the van. Refit the fuel sender. And uh, as you can see here, I've uh, just tried sucking on it with my mouth. And there is diesel coming out. So we're good to go for our diesel heater. Jobs are good. Okay, so to pull the, the tank out of the sprinter, uh, you have to undo these four bolts and remove this piece of plastic trim. And then just above the fuel filler neck, you'll see that there's a bolt in here. And that lets the uh, filler neck be free. Uh, and then also down underneath here, there are uh, four bolts holding the straps in. It is a strap at the back and a strap at the front, which is what holds the fuel tank in. Uh, what I did is put a car jack underneath it with a uh, piece of wood. Slowly lowered it down. Once you get it down about six inches, you can then access the... Uh, the breather at the back, you can just pop the breather off, it comes off by hand. And at the front, you can take the fuel feed and the fuel return and the fuel sender unit clip off. Uh, and then I dropped it all the way down. Uh, and then when I dropped it all the way down, I spun it around the filler neck. Uh, so as it was next to the side of the van, I managed to work on it like that. And the same goes for refitting. Push the tank back up using the jack. Four bolts. That ring pops on. Yep. And this, uh, this ring here just pops on in quarter turn, stays on, which is just your, your guide for when you're filling up. 